Good morning. God bless you this morning. God keep this morning. I hope you all is ready to go out to the house of the Lord and give God a praise and a glory. Not because the day is Sunday, but every day. Praise God. I mean, I hope you're glad he woke you up this morning. I know I'm glad he woke me up this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If somebody wanted to be here this morning, you know, and you was here. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see me or tune on to me. Praise God. Hallelujah. I hope you all is thankful. Praise God. Give glory to God all the days of your life, all the time. Praise God. Even in the mix of trouble, even the mix of things going well, you know, even when the mix of things fall down, you still give God praise and glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. The trouble don't always last. I want to uh, read here talking about the vision of living beings. A vision of living being. Out of Ezekiel. Let me read uh, Ezekiel chapter chapter 1 praise God Ezekiel chapter 1 it says on July 31st on my third it says on my 30th year while I was with the Judeans Israel besides the keyboard river in Babylon the heavens were open and I saw a vision of God this happened during it said this happened during the fifth year of King captivities the Lord gave this message to Ezekiel. He gave this message to Ezekiel. On, he said, Son, a buzzy, a priest besides the Kibar River in the land of the Babylon, of a Babylonian. And he felt the hands of the Lord take hold of him. And that's also in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 11. Verse 4 says, as I looked, I saw a great storm coming from the north, driving before it a, it, it's a, it's a huge cloud that flashed with lightning and sown with uh, bright, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant light. <clears throat> See, there was fire inside the cloud, and in the middle of the fire glowed something like gleaming amber. From the center of the cloud came from living beings that looked human. A living being that looked human, that kind of remind me of uh, you know, my dad that passed away and everything. When he was on that life support machine, it was like a sign. You know, I was on the freeway driving from, um, this is when I was in California, I was driving from Lancaster back to L.A. And I just looked up, you know, at the moon. I'm like, you just see a big old nice full moon. And I happened to look up. And it wasn't a cloud, it was a moon. And I see my daddy's face in the moon. I kept seeing it. And I'm like, Todd, I'm like, so you so you there already. You up there already. So you giving up. You gave up already. So there's nothing no uses to keep you on life support, you know, on this machine when I see you up there already. And I'm you know, I'm talking, I'm saying this. <clears throat> a lot of people say that'd be a sign, you know, let them know they they you know. They're not even, you know, they spirit not even in their body no more. I mean, it's just a waste of time to even keep having them on the machine. You know, and I already see them up there. as was a sign, his face. I see this face just, you know, just looking looking at me. Then my kids in the car. And I said, y'all see that too? He said, see what? I said, look at the moon. He said, we see the moon, but what else to see? I said, well, maybe it's not meant for y'all to see. It's my dad. I, I see my dad's face. And then they look, and, um, and then I look. But at the same time, they look. And it like the thing disappeared, and then when they don't look, and then I look, you know, it, it you know, it, just, it was just dead. It's kind of anyway. It was kind of remind me that when it says a living being that looked human, it says except that each had four faces and four wings, their legs were straight, and their feet had hoovers, hooves like those of a cow, and shone like burnished bronze. Under each of their four wings, I could see human hands. So each of the four beings had four faces and four wings. The wings of each living being touched the wings of the being besides it. Each of it said each one moved straight forward in any direction without turning around. And that's also in the book of Revelation, chapter four, verse six to eight. It says each had a human face in the front, the face of a lion on the right side the face of an ox on the left side and the face of an eagle at the back. Each two, he said, each had two pairs of outstretched wings. One pair stretched out to touch the wings of the living being 
on the uh, either side of it, and the other pair covered its body. They went in the what it said. It said they went in whatever direction the spirit chose, and they moved straight forward in any direction without turning around. The living being looked like bright coals of fire or a brilliant torch, and lightning seemed to flash back and forth among them. And the living being darted to and fro like flashes and lightning. As I looked at these beings, I saw four wheels touching the ground besides them. One wheel belonging to each. The wheels sparkle as if made to bear. It says all four wheels look like. It says all four wheels looked alike and were made the same. Each wheel had a second wheel turning crosswise within it. The being could move in any of the four directions they faced without turning as they moved. The rims of the four wheels were tall and frightening, and they were covered with eyes around. I mean, eyes all around. It says, when the living being moved, the wheels moved with them. When they flew upward, the wheel went up too. The spirit of the living being was in the wheel. So wherever the spirit went, the wheel and the living being also went. When the being moved, the wheel moved. When the being stopped, the wheel stopped. When the being flew upward, the wheel rose up. For the spirit of the living being was in the wheel. That's also in the book of Ezekiel chapter 10, verse 16 through 19. Verse 22 here says, Spread out above them was a surface like the sky. Glittering like crystal beneath this serpent, the wing of each living being stretched out to touch to touch the other wings, and and each it says and each had two wings covering its body. As they flew, their wings sound to be like waves crashing against the shore of like the voice of the Almighty, or like the shouting of all. It says like the shouting of a mighty army. When they stood with wings, Lord, a voice spoke from beyond the crystal surface above them. And that's also the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 6. It says, uh, 26, verse 26 here, it says, Above this serpent was something that looked like a throne made of blue lapis. And uh, it says, And on this throne high above was fig was figure whose appearance resembled, resembled a man. From what appears to be his waist up, he looked like gleaming amber flickering like fire. And from his waist down, he looked like a burning flame shining with splendors all around him. Was a glowing hollow like a rainbow shining in a cloud on a rainy day. This is what the glory of the Lord looked like to me. When I saw it, I fell face down on the ground. And I heard someone's voice speaking to me. Praise God. Um, Revelation, um, Revelation chapter 19, verse 6. I'm just going to flip over here right quick and read. <clears throat> read uh, verse 6, uh, Revelation chapter 19. <clears throat> it, it talks about songs of victory in heaven. That's what it talks about. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 19 verse 6 it said then I heard again what sound like the shout of a vast crowd or the roar of mighty ocean wave or the crash of loud thunder praise the Lord for the Lord our God the almighty ring and also this in um it's also the book of Revelation chapter 11 verse 15 I'm gonna turn there while I'm in Revelation Revelation um Chapter 11, verse 15. <clears throat> this talks about the seventh trumpet being the third terror. It said, Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there was loud voices shouting in heaven. The world has now become a kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. Praise God. I believe I shared that with you on um, YouTube. I was talking about. I think I was talking about the. Um, I think it was two witnesses. I think I was talking about two witnesses. 
um, back in January. I think that's what it was. The two witnesses for the seven trumpet being the third terror. I believe that's what I'm not sure, but I remember uh, talking to you about in Revelation. I was reading that on my YouTube. I believe it was uh, January 24th. January 24th, 2003, well, this year, God's people will be preserved. I think I was talking about that, and the Lamb breaks the seven seals. Yeah, but anyway, praise God. Um, <clears throat> I also want to share with you uh, my other book here, just reading a little bit about God's instruction here. It says, um, A marriage may be made in heaven, but the maintenance must be done on earth. And um, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 33 says, Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself and the wife, see that she be, uh, reverence her husband. When God measures a man, he puts a tape around the heart instead of the head. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 7 it says, The Lord seeth not a man, see it. For a man looketh on the outward appearance, appearance I mean. The man looked on the out, outside of you, the, you know, the outward, the outward appearance. But the Lord looketh on the heart. The grass may look greener on the out, I mean, the, the, the grass may look greener on the other side, but it is still, but it still has to be mown. You know, lime mold, you still have to be mowed. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 says, And be content with such things as ye have. Ye, ye meaning you, as you have. Patience is the ability to keep your mode of idling when you feel like stripping your gear. Proverbs chapter 16 verse uh, 32 says, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. He who is waiting for something to turn up might start with his own shirt sleeves. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 23 says, All hard work bring a profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. Remember, the bananas, when it left the bunch, it got skin. When that banana left the bunch, it got skin. Hebrews chapter uh, 10, verse 25, it says, Not forsaking the assemblies of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching as you see the day approaching it is better to be silent and be considered a fool than to speak and remove all doubt if the uh, ecclesiastic uh, ecclesiastic chapter 10 verse 3 says they also when he that is a fool walking by the way his wisdom followed his, his will his wisdom failed at him and he said to everyone that he is a fool. Many, a, it says, many a good man has failed because he had his wishbone where his backbone should have been. Joshua chapter one verse nine says, "Have it says, have not I command thee be strong." I was telling you the other day, be strong, be strong, and a good courage. Be not, it says, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whether, it says, whether soever thou goest. So it's like, he's with you wherever you go. He's with you. Praise God. If a, it says, it's the, uh, <clears throat> if a first, it says, if at first you don't succeed, try reading the instruction. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 13 says, Take fast hold of instruction, let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Your temper is like a fire. It gets very destructive when it gets out of control. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28 says, 
He that hath no rules over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Decision, <clears throat> decision can take you out of God's will, but not out of God's reach. Second uh, Timothy chapter two verse thirteen says, "If we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot." disown himself your companions are like the button on an elevator they will either take you up or they will take you down Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20 says he that walk with wise men shall be wise but a companion of fool shall be destroyed Patience is a quality you admire in the driving behind you and scorn in the one ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8 and 9 says, The end of the matter is better than its beginning, and patience is better than pride. Do not be quickly provoked in your spirit, for anger reside in the lap of fools. In the lap of fools. There is a name for people who are not excited about their work. Employed. Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 says, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to pray for each and every last one of you. And um. I just thank God for the word, and I hope you receive it, and I hope you take heed and do the will of God for your life. Amen, amen, amen. Glory be to God. God bless you today as well as every day. Heavenly Father, I pray for those that's watching. God bless you all, and God keep you. In Jesus' name, I pray. I pray you will just stay strong and do the will of God for your life. Love one another. Go out to the house of the Lord, you know, and have a wonderful time. But then you go for you. Don't worry about the rest. Just, just go for you. Do your dude. Don't worry about the don't. You know, give God the praise. No matter who's looking, no matter who's watching. You know, you just do what you do. You know, because God woke you up this morning. And I just pray that you would just give God the glory and the praise and be thankful. Don't care who's watching you. You know what I mean? You know, let them watch. You know, you know, they don't know what you've been through. I just pray you just give God the praise and glory right where you are. You don't have to be in the building. You don't have to be in the house of the Lord. But it's just good to go out to the house of the Lord and just, you know, go out with others. You know, be around others. Just give God some praise and, you know, and, you know, just be thankful. You know, be thankful for when you have something, when you get something. Be thankful for me before you already have it. Praise God. I mean, you know, just be thankful that he just woke you up this morning. Thank you that he started you on your way. Here you are blessed today. Glory be to God. And God bless you. And God keep you always in all that you do. You may be uh, on your way somewhere. You may be on your way to work. You may be getting off work. I don't know what you're doing. I mean, you may just be chilling, drinking coffee, drinking tea, whatever you're doing. I mean, I just pray the Lord to be with you and God's angels around you in Jesus' name. And you is blessed. You is somebody in Christ Jesus. And if you're not afraid, you get into Christ Jesus. Get into the world. Glory be to God. Live by the world in Jesus' name, I pray. And I pray, Lord, you know, just heal right where you hurt, heal right where you pain, heal whatever's going on with you that's not right. Because God wants you healed. He wants you well. And by his strength, you is healed. Glory be to God. God bless you today as well as every day. Glory be to God. Have a blessed, wonderful day. In Jesus' name, don't let the devil in hell see your today or no day. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. So until next time, you remember God love you, and so do I. You take care. Have a wonderful Sunday. You know, just tell somebody you love them. You know, tell them what all God done for you. Tell them how your great God, how God great and awesome God is. He's an awesome God. You know, he loves you. He cares for you. And everybody want to... Talk about you, let you down, and turn their back on you. know, you just hold on to the word. Does God see you through it? He will bring you out if you just hold on and do the will of God for your life. Hallelujah. Don't let no devil steal your joy today or no day. The devil might want to call you and call you some name, call you on the phone, you know, talk some that only line up the word of God stuff you don't need to hear. You know, tell the devil I ain't got time, get thrown of my feet, get behind me, Satan, Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I must go on. I'm trying to get somewhere. Glory be to, glory be to God. I'm trying to get somewhere. 
Hallelujah, cause God blessing us up ahead. I mean, I can't worry about you know what you're talking about. You know what behind, what past, what happened yesterday, bringing up old stuff. I don't hear old stuff. If it's gonna be some old stuff, tell me about the good news. Tell me about Jesus, the good news. That could be some. You can old stuff could be in the news. Tell me right now some good stuff. Some some um so, you know some some to uh to fulfill my joy and keep me you know happy. You know, besides, but keep my own self happy. You know, tell me some good news. I don't want to hear all that drama stuff. What happened two years or three years ago? All that little old crazy stuff of what happened then. This is about now. I'm living in the now time, the now moment. You know, I'm trying to go for it. You ain't trying to hear all that trash and all that junk and somebody trunk and all that drama, crazy stuff. They ain't talking about nothing. They ain't talking about the road of God. Oh, well, said they ain't talking about nothing. So I don't want to hear it's pollution to my ears. And I ain't trying to hear no pollution. I don't need all that in my spirit. I don't need the wrong trying to mix up with my good. You know, the good and bad don't mix. I need to hear some good news. Hallelujah. Praise God. We all need to hear some good news. I don't want to hear all that bad news, and I hope you don't want to hear no bad news. We can hear some good news by in the world. Tune on into the world of God. That's some good news. Praise God. Anyway, God bless and God keep you. Remember, God loves you so do I. Take care. Have a wonderful day, as always, every day, you know. In Jesus' name, so you is somebody in Christ Jesus. And if you're not, like I always say, get into the world of God. He loves you. You know, his army, you know, he's out ready for you to come to him. You know, you try the rest, try the best. Jesus, glory be to God. God bless you today, and God keep it. Don't let the devil hell steal your today or no day. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. See you later next time. If God say the same.